I realize it's been quite a long week um, for everybody here. Um, hopefully y'all can come on back over because uh, we got some stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, April is right around the corner. I am getting ready to get off of my hiatus from not only working, but from doing YouTube because uh, it's it's been about a week since we last posted. So, you know, this week in indoor football, let me tell you, a lot of stuff happened this week. <laughs> I mean, I mean, my goodness. Uh, there's still a game going on right now, but uh, it's San Diego, Arizona, and Arizona's just beating the mess out of San Diego right now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we got the Billings Outlaws. Let's talk about the CIF first. Um, Billings Outlaws, they played their preseason game. I forgot who they played against their preseason game. They struggled a little bit, you know, called to Laughing House. You know, that connection was lethal, but, you know, Billings was able to put up 64 points. You know, they again, they struggled for a little bit. Like, I looked at it for, like, maybe, like, a few seconds because it was a Thursday night game for some reason, which is very weird. Uh... Like, the broadcast graphics, they were, like, stuck on, like, 9 to 8 for some time. Like, it, the, the graphics weren't very great for them. And, they, and, they, and apparently they have Frisco's Old Turf and the Columbus Destroyers' Ed Zones for some reason. I don't know how. We got, we got a lot of turf stuff to talk about because, I mean, I, I don't know how Billings has this, but, you know, they have it. Uh, hopefully... They get that sorted out because uh, Frisco's logo is still in the middle of the field. So I'm curious to see what Frisco's actual new field is going to look like Friday. Now, unfortunately, because I didn't work for a month, um, I'm not going to this game between Frisco and Tucson. So I'll have to wait until like later on in the in the season to go to a game because I want to go to a game. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best get to a game uh, there's, gonna be, there's gonna be some things there's gonna be some things you know where it's like oh, I don't know I don't know, you know there's gonna be some time but um, I'm gonna make sure they get to a game this year you know to a Frisco game so don't worry about it don't worry about it guys we'll, we'll talk about Frisco in a minute here uh, another piece of Frisco fighter stuff in a minute here um, a local attorney in Wyoming hired a guy you know the the Wyoming Mustangs. They, they, you know, a local attorney has bought the Mustangs team. Um, however, this weekend the Dallas Prime, a, uh, a semi-pro outdoor league team, I think, who have dominated their own league for quite some time, they beat Wyoming by two, and that prompted Wyoming to not only again, you know, fire their entire coaching staff, but hire somebody who I think has been in the indoor football scene for some time. I'm not sure. Um, or rather, he's been in the scene, but he hasn't had the best history. So um, I, I forgot who it was. I may be completely wrong on on that front, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, Wyoming, you know, disappointing right there, you know. You know, again, they had a decent. I think they had a decent crowd. I don't know because I mean the game was delayed for a little bit, and I was like, look, I was looking, you know, for it. I was looking at it, um, and I was like, oh, okay, okay. So when's this game gonna come on? And then lo and behold, it finally came on. You know, later on, it was like after seven o'clock ish. It's like maybe like eight o'clock. I might have gotten my times wrong, but Wyoming. Entirely new coaching staff. They're going to have to get. Uh, but then you, then you got Omaha and Salinas coaches. They were having an altercation before the Champions Bowl rematch, which I forgot who won the game because I did not pay attention. But uh, I'm, I'm sure somebody else has the final score for that game because I was not paying attention. Um, so yeah, there's there's that CIF. You know, really, it's only had like three or four games that actually matter so far. So um, long season ahead. I know there's going to be a CIF game where it's just completely standalone that I can watch it. You know, in like May. But for now, um, I'm not going to be trying to pay attention. I hope, hope hope somebody else. I know somebody else will be filling in with CIF stuff. Um, anyway. The SoCal Red Tails, the AWFC. Let's talk about the AWFC real quick before we get to the IFL and stuff like that, you know, and, and the other 
the other leagues that haven't proven themselves. Uh, the Red Tails, all their games were removed, apparently, from the AWFC website. I had to double-check myself to make sure. And all four of their games will be on the road. And apparently, what the reason behind this is, I found this out from another user on Facebook, is that they were not registered to do business in Cali. So, um... That's kind of bad. So now they're a travel team. Now they have two travel teams the AWC has. And the Elites, they got whipped by Idaho, I believe. They, were, they went down like, what, 81-6 to six was the final score in that game? Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, did an another turf situation here. The Mississippi Raiders. Hey, Y'all remember West Virginia? Yeah, they got... They got what, the Raiders have West Virginia's old turf, which is crazy to me pretty crazy uh, there was an interview by um, the locked in magazine guy um, I'm sure you've heard of that guy uh, I forgot his actual name because but I, I just know him as the locked in magazine guy who covers like um, NAL, CIF, IFL stuff uh, AAL he, he mostly he's mostly um, around the arena football stuff too uh, but the AIFA you know they haven't released the schedule um, but the owner of the league did an interview saying, hey, we're going to release the schedule soon. Who knows when that will be? Um, you, know, you know, this is teetering on. This is teetering. This, I mean, this is a tier three league in all honesty. You know, but, you know, no schedule yet. But it needs to come out. There's apparently a TV deal in place. There's no such thing as Fox Sports anymore. Fox Sports Soul anymore. So that that's not a thing um, so at least hopefully whatever the actual you know um, thing that they're working with you know whatever Bali sports affiliate that they're working with because there's no such thing as Fox Sports anymore remember Bali Sports is a thing now um, so um, there's that there's like an 8 to 10 game regular ski regular season schedule in the cards but again we don't know when that will be released I have not looked in the past day I've been checking on and off for the past week or so to see if the AIFA even has a schedule you know coming out and still nothing there might be a champion versus champion game with the AWFC who knows and you know again there's some plans for 2023 but again the same you know AIFA saying that this is just a test right now which I mean 2022 with the five teams they do have I mean it is what it is man it is what it is um, but yeah the Raiders they got um, West Virginia's turf and they whipped up on the Carolina Predators I think so I mean there there was so much fluctuant um, stuff going on with this kickoff classic thing that they were doing out in Jackson you know same place where you know a certain coach by the name of prime time Deion Sanders is um, stationed at with the Jackson State Tigers yeah that yeah that Jackson Mississippi so you know um, Mississippi easily took care of business it was like what 60 to 8 so pretty sad there um, for the Predators and you know again whatever these you know splinters from the AL you know, the, the at least one of the splinters anyway from the AL whatever they're having to do you know hopefully they get get it together and get things on the table because it's it's pasture season opener now. You got to get a schedule out now, and hopefully you do by the time we come back here next week. So you know, see, um, Duke City. Unfortunately, the Nate Davis injury is going to hurt them for a little while. It's going to hurt. Um, I know some people have picked Duke City again. Some people picked Duke City to win the United Bowl this year. I know Ducon did, uh, and I, I, know, I know some other people have picked it as well, at least other experts. Again, I picked Arizona to win the title this year, so, uh, you know, that's just me. Uh, but Duke City had a turf issue as well. Um, they're still playing out in, what, Rio Rancho, not in, the, uh, not in their actual arena, so, you know, they have to get new turf, and they're going to get new turf for their next home game, which I believe is next week in or rather this Saturday actually and that'll be against the same Arizona team that is still 
Yeah, this Arizona team still whipping up on San Diego right now. Right now, it's forty-one to ten. Um, and speaking of San Diego, the San Diego Strike Force apparently have new owners. Um, now, this was just came out today. You know, they also have the Baltimore Brigades turf, and that is very noticeable from the game you're either watching or have started watching right now. Uh, it, it's kind of rough. It's looking real, real bad, man. Let me tell you, it's not a good look right there. Not a good look. Like the field, the turf looks bad. Remember, Louisville had this turf in 2021 before they got axed. So something happened to this turf, and it looks, and it just does not look. It, it looks beat up. It looks beat up. It looks pretty beat up. And then you know, fan control football. They brought back Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel. Uh, meh feeling there you know he, he's kind of complacent there was an article about him uh, I think I read you know a few hours ago where he's you know kind of just like yeah I'm playing football I'm, I'm still playing football I'm not gonna be like the best or anything you know I'm still playing football at least I'm still playing so maybe he's kind of mellowed out a little bit because FCS trying to you know do things differently and you know doing things differently hasn't really worked out so far in my personal opinion but whatever uh, so you know there you go that, that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for this week in indoor football hopefully next week you know things get a little bit more interesting because um, we, we got we got we got we got we got an interesting one next week you know we got an interesting slate of games throughout next weekend you know, for like Friday all the way to Monday night during the NCAA basketball national championship so uh, yeah it's gonna be crazy gonna be crazy man um, you know our channel update will be on the 1st of April just so y'all know this a 38 preview and predictions uh, and you know that that's gonna be basically it for the week mostly you know trying to get all that out you know I'm not sure when I'll put the WrestleMania 38 preview up because I mean I feel like I should by now but you know I'll, I'll, I'll probably put it out before you know April the 1st so we can get so we can just get the channel update out of the way and everything but we'll see because I'm still trying to edit you know my plans for the month anyway of April to get it all done so, with all that being said, I'm going to get on out of here and skedaddle and hopefully get back on track because, again, I missed a month of work, man. I missed a month of work. So, um, you know, I, I don't know how I'm going to feel throughout the rest of the week, but hopefully by the time you guys see this, you're, you're still here because we're still kicking. We're, we're getting closer to the goal of 200 subscribers, which is absolutely great you know absolutely fantastic and hopefully y'all continue to help me grow the channel in the best way possible again i'll see you all throughout the week and stick around remember to like share comment subscribe click the notification bell do all the good stuff you need to do and big boy sports signing off peace